Hey turn up, so I'm back and today I'm going to show you guys my revamped version of my pumpkin spice macaron. It's so delicious and I like this recipe even more. So you guys have to give this a try, especially since the fall is coming and let's go. Starting with our ingredients, there's my almond meal, my confection sugar, our egg whites, our food coloring, pumpkin spice and granulated sugar. So this is my pumpkin spice I got from Target. I absolutely love the packaging and we're just going to sprinkle some along with my almond meal and confection sugar together. And for the turnips who do not know, pumpkin spice actually do not contain any pumpkin. It's a combination of a couple spices and I have listed down below what they are and you guys can combine it together. And just like all my videos, all the recipe and ingredients and measurements can be found in the video description down below. So you guys can find it over there. And next we have our cold and fresh egg whites. And we are going to whisk it until it gets very foamy. As you're whisking, make sure that you guys start whisking the first moment your egg white sticks to the bowl. So every so often, I check the bowl to make sure that it doesn't slide. Once it keeps on sliding, just keep on whisking until it sticks to the bowl when you guys flip it over. And if you do not follow my flipping the bowl trick, you guys might over whisk your egg whites and that will cause your shell to be very thin and hollow and even brittle. So that's an example of flipping over and sticking to the bowl. And next, we are just going to add in all of our granulated sugar all in one shot. And we are going to continue whisking and after adding granular sugar, you will notice that the texture is getting shiny and thick. Start whisking the moment all your egg white sticks to the bowl and we are going to add in our food coloring. And right here I'm using Wilton's orange gel food coloring. Gel food coloring is so saturated with rich colors, it's going to make your macarons look really good. And if you guys can, I definitely recommend the gel food coloring over liquid food coloring because liquid is a little bit more watered down in color, so it's not going to come out as nice. For this video, I'm making three dozen macarons instead of one dozen, which is the one that I'm providing in the video description. So you guys might not need as much gel food coloring. So once I've achieved this beautiful pumpkin spice orange color, I'm going to add in all of our dry ingredients that we have created earlier. And I'll just all add it in at once. So next we are going to fold in our ingredients together and just try to combine it well until it looks relatively the same texture overall. And of course, you do not need to mix as slowly as I am doing right now in the video because I am mixing three times the amount. So I just do not want to have all my batter spill all over my table. Start folding once you reach this lava consistency and we are going to pour all of our batter content into a piping bag. And I just find it easier to use a clear disposable piping bag but any piping bag will do. And we are going to snip the tip of the piping bag and then we are going to pipe our macarons. We are going to bang a cookie sheet just to release all the excess air bubbles before baking these macarons in a preheated 300 degrees Fahrenheit oven and bake them for approximately 90 minutes. Moving on to the macaron filling, I've already scooped out some of my cream cheese and it's soft at room temperature, so it's easier for us to combine with our pumpkin puree as shown right here. We 
We are going to mix the ingredients together just so that it's well combined before adding our confectioner sugar. For this step, I like to use confectioner sugar, but if you wish, you can use granulated sugar. I think that it's better to control the sweetness with confectioner sugar since it's more mild in taste and it also gives you a better control as well. And of course, if you want your macaron filling to be a little bit more sweeter, you guys can add more sugar to it. I like to add a little bit of sugar, but not too much because the macaron shells itself is already sweet enough and I don't want to make it too sweet. And if you miss any of the edges, just use a spatula just to swipe it down and combine it together. We are going to pour all of our macaron filling into a piping bag before piping onto our macaron shells. I snip the tip of the pastry bag and I'm just going to pipe on the macaron filling onto the macarons. And of course we are going to sandwich them together. I highly recommend refrigerating them for at least 24 hours before serving and they're going to taste absolutely amazing. And if you love pumpkin spice latte or pumpkin spice frappuccino, this is the perfect macaron for you. Hey turnips, thank you guys so much for waiting and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this pumpkin spice macaron. I really love it and you know that pumpkin spice season is coming up so you guys have to give this recipe a try and if you haven't done so definitely hit that subscribe button as I will be posting more videos later and if you guys missed my previous video you guys can check it out on that link and I'll see you guys next time.